Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Phoenix back with another video today, and today I wanted to show you how we're going to set up a Miss King starter misting system. As it says on the box, this is the starter. It supports up to 10 nozzles, and it's a very, very fine mist, as it says down here. It's 50 micron droplets, so they're extremely fine and almost more of a fog when they actually do mist. This is the misting system that I recommend for pretty much everyone. Uh, now I know the Monsoon is cheaper than these, but the Monsoon is, I mean, cheaper than these. It is not as reliable, there's less customization. Granted, it's easy to set up. I would personally take the Mist King over the Monsoon every day of the week. This is much more reliable, I've had three monsoons and each one has stopped working after anywhere from about one to six months at the most usage out of it. So very, very, very ridiculous in how unreliable the monsoon is. And that was even one of their new models the that they fixed the problem on. Instead, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Miss King. Now we're going to crack open the box here. Alrighty, and this is it in its glory. So it comes with, I believe this is 12 feet of tubing? I don't remember exactly how much this is. It comes with a sweet little keychain. MissKing.com Go check them out to show you guys. This is a reference manual. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Please... Please read this even if you don't read manuals. I'm going to go through here and pull out all the useful information for you guys and put it in this video. So it comes with the digital timer and uh, this is likely the power supply, I assume, sure is. So this is power supply, this is the actual like adapter. Then we got a nozzle and some spare parts. I didn't know it only came with one nozzle, but that's fine. I'll pick them up. I do have a couple lying around here, so it's not really the worst. That's all that's in the box. I'm sorry for the camera moving right now. And this is the pump itself. Missing. Jungle Hobbies Miss King. And we don't need that anymore. So what you get in the box is the pump itself, the Miss King timer, one nozzle, and some other attachments. There's an elbow. Uh, there's a couple different things in there. You also get the power cord, the adapter, 10 to 12 feet of tubing, I don't remember exactly how much, a sweet little patch, and that's it. So there's a couple of things that you're going to need for this build. You're going to need a drill with, I believe it's a quarter inch, and you're going to need a bin. Now this is a five gallon Sterilite container. You can also just use a standard, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can also just use a standard five gallon pail for this. However, where I'm putting it, it does not fit. So I'm using this five gallon Sterilite tub. Now you just want to make sure that it's a dark tub, preferably. You can use a light tub, but in light tubs there'll be algae buildups and, and all that gross, nasty stuff growing in there. So the darker the tub and the less light that is allowed to penetrate into the bin, the better for you. So with that little section done, I'm going to read through that manual and pull out all the useful information for you guys and compile it into this video. So, so after reading the full guide, the beautifully designed reference manual, uh, which I do recommend you still read even if you are watching this video and you buy Miss King, go for it. If you're unfamiliar with their products, it's very helpful to read. They also do provide a lot of information on their website, so if you have any further questions after this video, you can go there and either email them or just look on their like video gallery for different references. Now basically what that reference manual said, um, there's a couple very large don'ts. It basically says that these pumps have to be gravity fed. So what you want is to install it below 
below the reservoir itself and have it be gravity fed so that there's a little bit, not necessarily a siphon, but gravity can feed it draining from the reservoir down to your Miss King system. Also, I mean, using common sense, you wanna have a draining capacity of your tanks that you're using. Um, so there's no real drains on these, which I really should install, but there isn't on these guys. Essentially, they're saying your drain capacity should be larger than your reservoir capacity in case something goes wrong and essentially dumps your whole reservoir into your tanks at one time. Now, this has never happened with a Miss King that I've used, but it has happened with monsoon systems that I've used before, and it is not fun. Thankfully, I'm in the basement, so it's not really going anywhere, but I've had friends have, like, tanks overflow and stuff, and it leaks through their floor into the ceiling of the next floor and then drifts onto that floor. Ugh, ugh. Just make sure your drain reservoir is larger than your, uh, I guess, fill reservoir. <laughs> so for this next one here, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration for you guys. And it's basically how to take out the fittings. Now you see this little thing here, right there, the extension on the tube. You don't want to force it and pull it and, like, you're going to ruin the fittings. So what they tell you to do is you basically push down this collar with your fingernails and then you can gently pull and twist the tubing out and it comes out just that easy. Now, before getting the system, I spent a solid 20 minutes just the first time I ever owned one of these, pulling and forcing and to put it in, you might think this is far enough and oh look, it locks. The tubing itself hasn't passed the O-ring. While it still gets caught by the collar, it hasn't gone that far down. You can see just like this, it goes there, and then you push harder, and look how much more that went in. So you push that down, and there, versus there. So that's another thing to pay attention to when you're installing the system, is uh, how hard you're pressing the tubing into the fitting itself, because sometimes if you turn on the system and it starts to leak, then you know you didn't do it hard enough, and you just need to push in that tubing a little bit further. So for the next part here, again, I'll be using this, and this doesn't actually come with the systems themselves. This is essentially like a tubing cutter, and this came with one of the upgraded Miss Kings that I bought several years ago, and you just uh, you use it for cutting the tubing. And essentially what this does is it makes a nice clean cut with... So basically what that did, as you saw, it made a very, very nice clean cut. And they warn you not to use scissors or anything. The next best option would just be a razor and push it straight down. I will grab some scissors and show you what it does to the tubing if you use scissors. So these are garden pruners and uh, hopefully this will focus in here. There we go. And, I mean, that did a pretty good job, but you can see how not straight that is. So that's what they're trying to avoid right here, is how not straight that is. Whereas when you use the tubing cutter, it just pushes nice down, and it's completely straight. So that's basically what the manual warns you of. You don't want to use scissors, you want to use either uh, the, their like cutter, like you see here, or you can use some like razor blades, very sharp razor blades is what they recommend, and cut it that way. So the last thing that the manual references before we actually get started building it and setting it up is do not mess with these nozzles. Do not mess with these. Apparently they're very, very delicate and they can break and be misfigured extremely easily. They also never recommend that you unscrew this because these have been tested twice and they do not need any tinkering or fiddling around because you're bound to just mess with it and mess it up. So that's the last part in the manual that they say that you shouldn't do. I've set these up before. I know how to set it up. If you've never set up a Miss King before, or really any mister, then this might take you a little bit longer. Kind of made my own, like, Miss King adapters. They do sell these. They're hard plastic. I just use the cardboard. Honestly, I don't really think it's worth paying the money for when you can just make something like that yourself. It's super easy to do. So there's actually another nozzle behind this light and that's essentially already drilled and already installed. So what I'm going to be doing is installing some Miss King nozzles 
on this one here, this cage right here, because of me moving Turok over here. He needs to have some automatic mist as well. I'm probably going to install it in one of these two front corners here. Maybe both. I haven't decided yet. Alright, so now that we've kind of gone over everything and uh, discussed what is going to happen and what not to do and how to basically set it up. Now we're going to move to the actual setup of the Miss King system and we've got to begin that with drilling a hole in our reservoir. So Miss King doesn't tell you this, but honestly, these were the hardest thing. This is actually being filmed like three hours after the last clip because I couldn't find the goddamn drill bit to fit this. Now it just needs a 5 8 or a 9 16 for a very tight fit, and then the 5 8 is more of a loose kind of fit. And that's what I'm using. As you can see, this is like a wood bit. And this is actually brand new because I had to go out and buy one in order to have it. I went through two neighbors and all my collection here. And I could not find a drill bit. So make sure you have the proper drill bits. And this won't take you three and a half hours to set up. Now you want to make it about an inch above the bottom of the tub. Which is about there. Um, give or take. Obviously it's not perfect. But... And there you have it. What you're going to want to do is clean it up with a razor blade. Now I know that's a little bit big and it kind of caught there at the end. But that should be no issue because there's a bulkhead that goes around it. So what you want to do is grab a razor blade, which I happen to have right here. And you just want to go in and clean up the little, like, I don't know what you want to call it, lip, I guess. That's nice and clean there. And then I'll do the inside, and we'll come back once I'm done. So there's the hole we just made. And what you want to do is get the bulkhead piece and put the O-ring on the outside of the bin. So like this, and you're going to slide it through the hole there. Tighten it like that. You want to get it good and tight. You don't want to over tighten it and you don't want to under tighten it. So what I recommend doing is actually filling this up with water and seeing if that o-ring holds. Make sure that there's nothing leaking, nothing will be broken, there's everything is holding true and that way you won't run into the problem in the future of oh no my o-ring's not working I should have tested this beforehand. That's why I recommend doing it now. So that's what I'm going to go do. You guys don't really need to see me filling a bucket up with water. But that would be the next step. Test that out. Alright, so now that you've tested your reservoir and seen that it is in fact waterproof and will not leak, hopefully. Now we come to the part where you can be as creative as you want or as simple as you want. You can simply punch a hole through the screen and attach your mystic nozzle to that. So I'm kind of making my own, like, I don't know, corner shiv, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but like my own corner piece for the tank. Now this is just a piece of white corrugated plastic that I had sitting around and I decided this would probably be good to use so that's what I'm going to do and essentially all you're going to need is like a razor blade or something sharp. You're just going to want to cut straight down or as straight down as you possibly can and chances are you're only going to cut through one side so you're going to have to go over it again just to cut through that second side. And if you have a new piece, it'll be even easier because then it will come already square and you don't really have to make it square. Or I guess triangular would be technically right. And if you're young and trying to do this, please talk to your parents first. Don't just be like, Mike said I could. Oh boy. Alrighty, so here's my little piece here. I'm going to grab the bulkhead attachment from the Miss King itself. Alrighty, so I have the bulkhead attachment from the Miss King itself and a pen as you can see here. And you just make a circle there and you just gotta cut it out whether now it's not really worth using the uh, 5 8 attachment on your drill bit. This is almost pretty much just as easy to 
cut through because I don't know how well this is going to work. So to cut this I'm basically just going to go around. It doesn't have to be perfect because you just need to have it so that the bulkhead will fit through. It doesn't really have to be anything super precise. Once you're done cutting you can just grab your little bulkhead attachment and slide it through there if it will go. There you go. And you know you've done a good enough job. Obviously you can see that that was not a perfect circle by any means. And yeah, it's kind of rough looking, but it'll do the job. So I'm going to install it on this corner here. And I mean, all you're gonna do is just set it in the corner like so. That's simple. And how I get the bulkhead through the screen is kind of unorthodox, but I essentially just lift this up and I don't know how well you guys can see this, but with a razor blade I essentially just cut the screen to the inside of there and then you can open it up a little bit with your finger don't recommend doing that because if you have sensitive fingers uh, you do get nice good shards of wire in them. Now we're going to move that back into place and right now we're actually going to install the nozzle. It's as simple as getting it through here once again plastic and screen and all and then tightening your bulkhead or your I guess washer I don't know and there you have it you have installed your nozzle you have made a little nozzle dock for it and you're ready to go so now for my purpose I'm using this T union because I have to yeah, it looks like it's in there good. So now that you've got your nozzle in, I'm going to show you how to connect your pump to your reservoir. You can see there's very many indicators of which way the flow goes on these things. So this would be the reservoir side, this would be cage side, even here it shows the arrow there and the arrow there. So all you're going to have to do is, because we're already at this camera angle, I'm just going to install this tubing here. And you just gotta push nice and hard. There we go. And now we will continue with the reservoir side. So here we are looking at the reservoir side. And we have our hose here. We're basically just going to, again, push. Make sure you feel that second O-ring and then test it out like that. You've pretty much installed your pump. So congratulations. So now that we've installed our pump, now basically what we can do is actually install what will essentially be the rest of our tubing. And I'm hoping this will be long enough to go from here all the way to the top of the cage. So this is the final step. You essentially just want to connect all the tubing with all the nozzles that you have. And I know you guys probably can't see much right now because my arm's there, but that looks like it's good and good and in there. Now I'm going to push this all the way against the back. So now you saw me install this tube into the pump. Now we must install it up here. So ideally, I'd have a elbow fitting. Unfortunately, I do not, but that is not a big deal. This crack here and then into there just so it stays behind the cage that way we don't have to deal with it too too much and I should have another length of tubing that will hopefully oh my goodness if this actually works I'm gonna be stoked not sure if you guys could see what I'm doing I'm actually back here so I'm not sure how well you guys can see back there but I'm kind of doing this on the fly and I'm just shortening this tube a little bit now, of course, over time, you guys can get all the elbows and all the crazy stuff that your hearts desire in order to make this as nice as possible. That's installed on there. That's installing your Miss King. So you can see the whole rig. Now, I might end up changing this in the future. Before my battery dies here, I'll just do 
one quick pen. We have the pump. The water reservoir goes into the pump, down, up here, to here, which goes, which comes up here, and then travels around this way, and goes into Rango's cage. Hopefully I'll be expanding this to two nozzles, Turok's cage, but for right now, I only have one, so that's all I'm going to do. So now before we set up the digital seconds timer, I want you guys to know that if you have any other questions or something was unclear, of course you can ask me in the comment section down below, or you can visit MissKing.com and see what kind of like questions and videos and tutorials they have up there for you. I tried to do my best, but I may have forgot something. If you guys have any other questions before we get into this, go over there, talk to the folks over at Miss King, and they should be able to give you a hand. So now that we covered that, let's crack into this digital timer here. This is actually my first time opening one of these guys. And it comes with some 3M tape for mounting, I assume. And now this is my first time setting one of these up too. And I'm sorry for the kind of disaster on my bed. All right, so I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Essentially what you're going to do is attach the power to this guy here. And just make sure that this is all good and dandy. Push that in there, make the connection. This side actually goes to your Miss King itself. So I'm gonna move you guys down to where I can actually set this up and get it all running. And we'll get started. All right, you guys, so I haven't really figured out the whole pump situation or the whole this guy situation but check it out it's running you can see how fine that mist is it's super fine it's awesome so I've set the timer honestly I'm not gonna go through it with you guys because it is a huge pain in the ass and honestly, the program that comes with it, like the little guide, is probably your best bet. Me explaining it to you is not going to work unless you're actually figuring it out for yourselves. Because it took me a couple times. I reset it once just to, uh, just to get it down the way I wanted it to. And now it's set. So now the step I only have left is to move Turok into this cage here. Move some of those plants upstairs and move them all around and uh, get this cage set up for Turok. But that'll be another video, guys. I wanna thank you guys for watching. This kind of tutorial helped you guys out. I know it's a little bit daunting when you buy a misting system that doesn't come with a reservoir, even though it's way better than the Monsoon. It, it is still daunting and it is more expensive, so that is an issue as well. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comment section down below. I can hopefully answer them for you. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I strongly recommend the Miss King system. I'm not paid by them. They didn't send me this. Nothing like that. I just love them. And uh, they're pretty much the best mister on the market right now. If you guys are in the market, if you're keeping dart frogs or you're keeping chameleons, this is the way you want to go. This is something that you want to look into. All right, enough talking about Miss King. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. If it helped you or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear if I either helped you and if you have any questions while setting up your Miss King, I would love to answer those for you. And if you want to see more videos like this one and more reptiles, frogs, planned videos in the future, subscribe to my channel and you will not be disappointed. Anyways, guys, it's time for me to get out of here. This took way longer than I thought it would. So thanks for watching, guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.